I think the thing that I will miss the most is probably just being around the boys all the time, 24-7, because in the summer, like, that's who you're going to be around most of the time. And probably walking through the crowd during a big game, I think that, like, you can't really get that at the next level or, like, anywhere else. I think, like, that's, like, a plays a big part. Yeah, definitely under the lights, for sure. I'm going to miss that. I mean, four years is a lot of football, so it's it's hard to choose one memory, but... I would say probably going into halftime of that Warren County game, the first playoff game this year, like we went into halftime and man, the coaches, the players, man, we just knew, like we had it. Um, and it's a really good feeling going into a locker room together and like everybody's just on page and is like, we got this. And then we came out in the second half and we, we played even better and we got, we, got, we, we got the win and it was, it was a really like just very camaraderie event and it was, it was, it was really nice. My favorite memory would have to be this this past season, the Lebanon game, uh, and I had that long run, and I just got knocked down at the six, and I put us there to help win the game. Yeah, I, I, I just think I'm going to kind of miss the whole thing. You know, like a lot of people, you know, they play their sports, and they don't particularly love that sport, or it's not their favorite thing to do, but like every day coming into football, I was happy going in. Yes, it was annoying waking up at 5:30, 6 a.m. for practice, but like, it was it was a love, and I loved everyone I was working with and all that. So I'm I'm just gonna miss everything about it. Every day walking in, somebody knew they were gonna get better. So yeah. Uh, I just want to thank like, there's a lot of people, but probably if, just the coaches. Uh, there's a reason Mount Juliet football is what it is. Like you say, Mount Juliet football. Anyone who follows high school football in Tennessee is gonna know like what that means, and it's the coaching staff that we've had. Uh, been able to like develop a culture because you get new players like every four years but they've continued like the hard work and uh, the dedication to excellence and that really can't think of like a better place to play high school football at. Uh, I'd like to thank coach Ab because I came in like halfway through my high school career my junior year and he really like helped take me under his wing and like coached me up and helped me learn like the new team and he helped me get bigger, faster, and stronger, and just a better player overall. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I feel like when people think of high school football, or like when you're just like, you don't have a lot of knowledge about the sport, people think they can come in and just dominate. But to be honest, Mount Juliet's different, and you're not gonna be an all-star as soon as you show up. You're gonna have to put in work like everybody else, and you're gonna have to have a work ethic like nobody else. Um, and it's not easy. It's it's not easy. It's uh, it's very demanding. If you're not willing to put 110 percent in, I don't recommend going to the football team. Biggest misconception is that we cheat. Everybody thinks that we cheat and that we're just we're we get everything handed to we us. We get everything handed to yeah. us and like. Yeah. But we don't. We work harder than others and we beat them. You know, not throwing any shade, but it's been 12, what 12, 13 years mm -hmm. since we lost to anybody in the county. Yep. So, probably that, but if you don't work hard, you ain't gonna beat us. <laughs>